Hey everyone, it's Rochelle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a install video. So this is a beginner's guide on how to install your wig like a pro. I promise you it is easy to follow. So if you want to learn something, please keep on watching. This is a wig fresh out the box and this wig is from Wow African Hair. I do love their hairline on their wigs because they are pre-plucked, pre-bleached. So that means I do not have to do a lot to make it look realistic. And this one is about 22 inches. It does look really long on me because I'm not very tall. I'm about five foot, five and a half. So, but I think it looks pretty long and it's 180 density. The first step of my install is a wig cap. I'm using a super thin wig cap. And this is just gonna ensure that my edges are not being exposed. So that's why I like to do the ball cap method. And it kind of gives your wig kind of like that scalp like look. So that's why we do the ball cap method. So the wig cap is already on my head. Now I don't do cornrows. I have raggedy braids under here. I don't know how to do cornrows and I personally don't like cornrows for me. So I'm just doing, I have regular braids and I just went in with my liquid bolt hold liquid goal. So I'm gonna create the ball cap method by using this product. You can also use like a got to be free spray or a melting spray to do this as well. I don't like using glue to do this because the glue might pull out the edges. So once the uh, bolt hole liquid goal is dry, I'm gonna go in with my little baby scissors and start cutting off the extra um, wig cap that I don't need. And I'm gonna go in with some foundation that is my same skin tone and I'm going to apply this all over the wig cap. Next step is cut in the lace. So I'm gonna use these zigzag scissors, guys. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, wow, actually I have to try this. So I'm basically cutting the lace and the reason why the zigzag scissors are perfect, you usually cut your lace kind of jaggedy in zigzag motions. You never wanna cut it straight across because it's gonna look weird when you put it on your head. So I cut the lace, I do have a bit more to cut and I'm just trying the lace wig on. Now with this wig, I don't have to do anything. It's already pre-plugged pre-bleach everything so I don't have to do anything to it all I got to do is cut the lace and glue her down now I will say that this scissors was not the easiest to use my scissors was feeling a little bit on the stiff side so I'm actually going to get another one and see if that one works better but I got it on Amazon and they have lots of options on there now I'm going in with my baby scissors to cut away the extra lace on these sides and as you can see you can wear this wig on the glueless side so if you do want to wear it glueless you just have to adjust the straps but i'm going to be doing glue so i'm just wiping away the my forehead i'm using skin protector to wipe and then i'm going to go in with some lace glue so i'm just adding lace glue to my forehead so just like that you don't want to use too much glue you want to make sure it's a small amount of glue and then i'm going to go in with my rat tail comb and go in with the blow dryer on the cool setting once it's dry and it's clear you can go ahead and add another layer now i know some people add seven layers I don't do that I just usually add two because I'm not gonna wear my wig for a whole week like I can't do that I have to take it off so I just did two layers of glue went in with the blow dryer and then I'm going to pull it down so the lace on this wig is super thin I love the way the lace looks however I will say that the lace was just a tad bit dark for my skin it was just a little bit dark for my skin but I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna make it work so again, I added the glue onto the sides as well. Wait until it dries clear and pop it down. I'm not sure if you guys can notice that the lace is just a little bit darker. Maybe you're able to notice more at the sides, but not so much on the forehead area. But like I said, I'm gonna make it work. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull out some baby hairs. This step is definitely optional. You guys know I usually don't like doing baby hairs, but for this video, I'm going to because the lace is just a tad bit darker for my skin tone and I just wanted my got to be free spray just to melt down that lace as well so I sprayed it on and go in with my blow dryer to melt it down and you can also use a melting spray for this method as well so I'm using the blow dryer on the cool setting my wig is sitting a bit high so I'm gonna have to flatten it down and I'm using my hot comb I'm using the Andis brand to flat it down and some hair wax because Honey, she needs a bit of work. She needs to be sitting a bit more on the flat side. Right now, she looked like a house just floating on top of my head. So I wanna flatten it down and I'm doing it kind of in sections. And now as for the front of the hairline, because I did cut off quite a bit of lace and I want the hairline to look a little bit more on the realistic side. 
this wig it looked pretty realistic fresh out of the box but because I did cut off quite a bit of lace because the wig went down pretty low on the hairline I do have to tweeze it a bit and as you can see I cut the baby hairs and I'm gonna go in with my small conure baby flat iron so I'm trying to keep the baby hairs as natural as possible because I'm not used to wearing heavy baby hairs and I don't really like that look for me all right so everything's looking good now I'm gonna go in with some mousse and I'm just going to brush away the hair and then I'm going to tie it down so I'm gonna leave this on my head for a while and I just want you guys to see the length of the hair it's pretty long and I'm gonna go in with the uh, hairspray what brand is this I know what brand it is I just can't remember the name right now and I'm gonna go in with my curling iron and start curling this hair I wanted voluminous you know curls so I added my rollers to the curls guys and usually when I do this look I get that you know big 90s blowout look however I find that this hair did not hold curls very well at all it looked amazing straight it did add some volume but it just didn't really hold the curls like are you seeing my curls are kind of giving nothing now the curls didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out but the wig it's still giving volume and I really really love this color it's a really nice chocolate brown you know sometimes I get tired of wearing black but I'm here for the chocolate brown hair and I really like how it turned out so yeah comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys in another video very soon I love you guys so much and thank you for watching my video bye